his customers globally as a mm consultant and later on i moved to ariba and then i was ariba consultant and i have been involved in various uh, integration projects with ariba so uh, i'm based out in bangalore yeah that's all from my side so uh, same thing i would expect if each one of you can introduce yourself basically uh, your total experience any experience on sap side any experience on ariba side or uh, what do you think you're going to get from this session i mean uh, what are your expectations from uh, these ariba sessions all right so i'll call out the names from the list that i can see and then uh, please uh, introduce yourself so that we can start accordingly so i do, uh, I do see the first name is uh, aluri sarjanya yeah, hi good morning hi sir good morning sir good morning um, yeah. my, myself i'm uh, sarjanya i completed my post graduation in uh, mba finance so i'm a fresher and i don't know this uh, sap i'm not okay. uh, aware of sap but i want to learn sap ariba which would be beneficial for the work like it could be beneficial for working or uh, doing jobs for any company mm -hmm. so okay one of my friends suggested to join this okay that's cool uh, thanks rajanya so you're a fresher i mean do you have any work experience or you just college pass out I have six months work experience, sir. That okay. was uh, I had uh, I had done on U.S. process working. Okay. I mean, it was a U.S. based work. All right, all right. Thanks, Virginia. In India, I'm choosing an uh, SAP or SAP Ariba, um, and then making your career in this is obviously a good option. And uh, you know, there are lots of doors open for the you know, in the in the products of SAP and SAP, SAP Riva all together. All right. So thank you. Uh, next, I uh, you, see RT. Yeah, RT Chaudhary. Hi, RT. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Uh, this side is RT, and uh, I am working uh, for four years in SAP MM profile, and I want to know how to uh, work very well uh, uh, with SAP MM as well yes so you have been working as a sap uh, mm side for four years uh, but you have no experience on on ariba yet right no i don't have uh, experience for ariba okay okay thanks uh, thanks Arti. welcome uh, hi Kartik. Mm -hmm. uh, hi so good morning good morning yeah, yeah so I'm having total five years of uh, IT experience among the five years, three years in Ariba. So I have a part of uh, Ariba Ops team implementation and uh, P2P rollout projects. Okay, So still uh, uh, I need to uh, gain knowledge in uh, this uh, supplier enablement and uh, uh, APIs uh, uh, using Ariba. Those topics I need to like uh, enrich myself in those areas and uh, guided by uh, invoicing those areas also i need to enrich so i'm planning for that one okay so you have been working on sap ariba for three years right and and that yes. is ariba p2p, P2P side correct yeah p2p and upstream uh, also like uh, slp sourcing and contract mm -hmm. but uh, yeah uh, we have implemented a only standard uh, uh, process, okay, no customization included. So, uh, that supplier enablement uh, from uh, upstream to downstream, those things and all, uh, I'm not aware because we have implemented only upstream. Uh, we have not implemented full, full uh, uh, sourcing to invoicing, those things and all we have implemented. So, in up, uh, so you have implemented up sorry downstream right yeah so i have, I have been part of two projects one is substream implementation and one is uh, p2p rollout okay yeah. so you were part of implementation or part of process management or uh, 
uh, for upstream implementation and uh, downstream rollout project. Uh, rollout means uh, we have implemented for different countries, uh, different countries. Uh, so we have different uh, process uh, like uh, uh, we have included different uh, fields in the Ariba system and uh, we have okay. to replicate the same same thing in the ERP also enhancements. Mm -hmm. So okay. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, still, uh, I want to know. Yeah, I, uh, I want to uh, learn how uh, guided by uh, those things, and all. I didn't uh, uh, have any knowledge. Uh, I know uh, theoretical knowledge, but uh, uh, real time experience I'm not having. Okay, Karthik. So, if I understand correctly, uh, you want to get more exposure on Ariba products uh, that is like Ariba guided buying and Ariba extensions using Ariba APIs, right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Correct. Okay, and also I think you would also be interested in kind of a uh, Ariba CIG as well because that is also part of integration tool going forward. So, if you're looking some kind of extensions or deep knowledge in Ariba, then Ariba CIG is another. Uh, thing that you have to, you know, involve yourself. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, sure. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Karthik, I'll talk to you. And uh, but yeah, let us go through this demo session. Then we can uh, talk on each and every one. So uh, yeah, I do see only uh, three people. Okay. So let us begin. So we have uh, Sojanya who is very much fresher, and uh, then we have Arti who has got experience on MM side. And then we have Karti who has got experience on uh, Ariba side. So we have three people, and all three have different, you know, experience or different knowledge, different ideas. So let me tell you what would would be our uh, main agenda for the entire sessions, entire Ariba training. So we do begin with the zero. I mean, we consider each and every candidate coming to us like they have no knowledge on Ariba, they have no knowledge on the domain. So when I say domain, it's like a complete uh, procurement domain, right? So we always start our sessions starting from zero. If you have some experience that is good for you, it becomes easy for you to, you know, understand the things and uh, to connect the things like some people who have got experience on MM side or SAP side, then they can easily understand the thing what we do in Ariba, right? And, uh, but yeah, we do uh, the sessions beginning from the zero and then we talk all about the Ariba products and Ariba procurement sourcing, Ariba network, right? All those things. We talk about how, what are Ariba products, how they are, you know, connected with the external world. I mean, external ERPs, how they work, what are the various functions, features available in Ariba products. So uh, let us begin. And uh, in, in between, if you have any questions, just uh, put up your question or you can raise your, your hand or you can put on the chat. So uh it's uh, up to you and uh, okay with that let me begin and share my screen so give me a moment i hope you can see my screen so okay so ariba is all about so ariba um, first of all, it was started in year 1996 or around in year 1996 and that time uh, it was complete on-prem application. So on-prem application is something like a software that is installed completely on the customer server or customer's infrastructure. They have to, you know, maintain the system their own. They have to keep, the, keep their servers updated and they have to have their own team and everything uh, on their side. So in 1996, Ariba started with a, a with on-prem applications, and uh, that was Ariba was completely different what we see today. Today, Ariba is very very much advanced, and it is the world's biggest procurement uh, application, right? In the entire world, whichever procurement is happening, it is the biggest procurement application, biggest uh, procurement software provider, right? So right now we'll not talk about what it was because that makes no sense past is past it is gone right and it will never come back so we will not talk about what it was but yeah we will talk about what ariba is today and what ariba will be in future so that will be our complete agenda okay so ariba right now it is a complete on cloud application it is complete 
on cloud application so when you say on cloud application that means it is completely hosted and managed by ariba right it is completely hosted and managed by ariba team ariba engineering team or ariba ariba servers and all those things customer has nothing to do they just have to uh, have the url and their user id and password and an internet connection and a browser that's it with that they can access ariba they can do their business and they can take the actions which are required for their businesses right it is complete on cloud application now now ariba it is a procurement system it is a procurement system now what is a procurement system so procurement system means any system that helps you in procurement now what is a procurement so procurement is just like uh, we can consider as a, just like a shopping so when you, you want to shop something you want to, to purchase something that is actually procurement so purchasing is another name for procurement we can say right so now the procurement can be considered as a you know let's talk about some example of a organization uh, let's say one uh, organization let's say ibm okay now ibm is a very big organization it's a worldwide spread uh, organization and they have offices in various countries various regions and within a country various cities right and they deal in many things they deal in hardware they deal in software they deal in operating systems they deal in programming languages and they deal in services so many things right so they have different branches they have different locations now for each of these uh, activities or each of these these areas they need certain other items to be used for example let us take a very very basic example that will be easy to understand for everyone they have let's say they have an office in bangalore right they have an office in bangalore and in bangalore office they have staff uh, let's say they have 5000 or 10000 staff in the in an office now for them to work they need certain things like they need laptops they need uh, chairs they need tables they need mobiles they need notebooks so many things now let us say they want to purchase laptops they want to purchase laptops for their employees now what they will do how they can purchase laptops because laptops are of various categories so first of all they will define their own uh, specifications what kind of laptop they are looking for let's say they're looking for a laptop uh, there should be you know maybe processor i8 or i5 then hard disk one terabyte or ram 64 gb or something like that and the size should be this weight should be this there are many uh, specifications or properties that they can define uh, what they are looking for the cost should be this much the cost should minimum cost should be this much maximum cost should be this much and they can get the laptop within 10 days when they order so all these are the criteria, or we can say the specifications which they need to look into before procuring a laptop then first of all they have decided okay these are my all specifications like these these, these are the things that i need now which company laptop they should go for they have many laptop uh, company providers like dell uh, lenovo hp and blah 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 so many there are so many companies that provide laptop and almost all those company provide all those configurations which they are looking for so for the same configuration they have multiple company providers now let's say they have decided to go with lenovo i'm just taking an example let's say like after discussing with uh, their team and uh, their, uh, everything they have decided like they will go for lenovo now in lenovo uh, let's say in bangalore lenovo has various showroom or various suppliers or various shops right now who can supply the laptops to them who can give them the best offer who can give them the best price who can uh, you know deliver the laptops on time and uh, after delivery who can take care of the services right so they have decided some person and they have decided few people or few vendors who they can purchase the laptops right and finally after deciding all those things they got the laptops I mean, they did not get the laptop. They just got an overview of like what laptop they are purchasing, who they are purchasing from. Now they have the complete blueprint of the uh, of the requirement. Then comes the real uh, procurement. So they need, uh, let's say, five thousand laptops next month. Today is seventeenth of October. They need uh, five thousand laptops on 
on 10th of November. Let's say 10th of November, they need 5,000 laptops. So 5,000 uh, laptops needed by November 10th, right? So 10th of November, they need 5,000 laptops. Now what they will do, they will send a purchase order or they will tell their vendor. So let's say this is the vendor one, or you can say supplier who will supply the laptops. Let's say supplier one or vendor one, the same thing. They uh, they they want to laptop they want to purchase laptop from vendor one and uh, and they tell him like hey we need five thousand laptops by tenth of November with the configuration that are specified above so they give all the informations so what will happen they will create a purchase order right they will create a purchase order now they will create a purchase order and they will send the purchase order to supplier and in this purchase order everything will be mentioned everything means the laptop price the laptop a name the description and uh, need by date quantity all those things will be defined in this purchase order which they will tell to the vendor now after receiving the purchase order what will happen the vendor will say okay whether they can deliver it or they can not deliver it i mean is it possible to give 10000 5000 laptop by 10th of november because we they have only 15 15 16 days remaining or uh, maybe 25 days remaining yeah they have 25 days of remaining can they deliver 5000 laptop in 25 days right so they will say okay i can confirm like they can they can confirm so who will confirm the vendor will confirm the vendor will confirm okay we can deliver you uh, 5000 laptop by 10th of November or they can even say like uh, we can give you uh, 3000 laptops now or and maybe 2000 laptops later or by the end of 30th of November right so something they will say uh, they I can either they can say like we can deliver all all 5000 laptops or they can say like we can deliver you uh, 3000 now and 2000 later right so they will just inform the IBM that hey boss we have requested for 5000 laptops and we can give you this this many now what next now when it comes uh, to delivery i mean okay everything is agreed upon now when it comes to the delivery so uh, let's say it is uh, today is uh, 8th of november so what will happen supplier will ship the item so they will create a ship notice or uh, we can say like they will create a ship notice and they will inform the ibm inform the ibm that we have shipped 5000 laptops and they will uh, they should reach uh, they will receive it by 10th of november so this is something that they create they will inform the ibm that we have shipped all our items and they should get it by 10th of november right now what will happen next now it is 10th of november what will happen next they will ibm will receive it they will receive the consignment or you can say they will receive the items i will receive it and they will inform the customer or sorry supplier they will inform vendors about the receiving so they will inform him hey we have received all your 5000 laptop and they all are in good shape and nothing is damaged everything is good or maybe some are got damaged you need to replace them or whatever is the condition so Based upon their receiving, they will receive it and they will inform the vendor. Now, what is next? Next is like IBM, or we can say the supplier, the vendor will send them invoice. They will send them the invoice asking for the payment of 5,000 uh, laptop. What is the 5,000 laptop price? Is including all the tax, GST, or whatever, including everything. They will send them the invoice and finally what will ibm will do i will build ibm will pay so finally ibm will pay them they will say okay we have received all the items and you have send the invoices and finally they will make the payment to the vendor right so this is how the complete process of procurement goal and this is very uh, you can say uh, the basic picture of procurement and this is a, our daily our our day-to-day -day life as well like what we do in our daily life nowadays we also use amazon we also use flipkart 
right so all those things when we want to purchase something first of all we decide okay what we have to do i want to purchase a mobile okay i want a android mobile that is my first priority let's say or iphone mobile if i have iphone mobile then uh, i i have i have no other options let us go with android so i want to purchase an android mobile okay my ram should be this much my screen should be this much my whatever parameters i will decide then i will also decide my budget is this much i want a lap mobile between 10 to 15k or 15 to 20k or whatever right so then i will what will i will do i will go into the amazon app or flipkart app i will search for the mobile based upon my criteria whatever is there in my mind then i will just purchase it when i purchase it i got various uh, payment options one is like you can pay immediately you pay later emi and other steps right now when i purchase the order or when i put my purchase order i get a sms like your, your order has been placed that means your order has been placed means your purchase order has been created and it has it means it has been sent to the vendor now what happens soon after some minutes you will get a sms or message or a status update on your mobile device that your order is confirmed right you will see like your order has been con confirmed by the vendor and there uh, you can also see like it will get get delivered in next one day or two day or ten day whatever that is your delivery date now after some time or whenever the delivery date or shipment date is clear or near uh, what happens we get a notification your item has been shipped right then we get a notification like my item has been shipped my mobile has been shipped by the uh, vendor now it is with the uh, shipment party could be like blue dart or whatever the various third party logistic parties are there they will be carrying my laptop to sorry my mobile to my place so i can track my ship notice or i can track where my item has reached right then after that i will receive the item that is i will receive my purchase order so once i receive the purchase order the shipment party they will take our signature and they will uh, confirm like or otp or whatever like you, you have received your item then we get a message like okay we have delivered your item successfully and you have received it so the receiving has been done and finally anyway invoice has been done but we get a invoice from the um, from the uh, amazon or flipkart uh, on our registered email id like this is your invoice for the uh, purchasing that you have done since we have done the payment earlier so this step is anyway is not required but if you're doing a email payment or you are doing a pay on delivery then this payment you have to do while ex uh, accepting the item right so same process we also follow in our day to day life and same process customers also follow or we can say the companies also follow for procuring the items for their you know work regular work and it could be their actual work or it could be their side work or whatever but they need to procure these things now all these steps how they can keep a track of it so this is very minimal you know basic understanding but think on a broader level where uh, i'm just taking a very basic example but think of about if you know manufacturing industry or any plant or anything the who is manufacturing the items on a very high scale let's say uh, any medical uh, me medical company who is uh, you know manufacturing the medicines so they need so many things they need you know machines they need chemicals they need many other things to manufacture or car manufacturing company for a car manufacturing company they need many things they need tires they need leather sheet they need engine they need spare parts they need steel they need tin they need iron whatever many things are there that they need so how they can keep a track and then they're manufacturing on a very high scale then now the uh, part is uh, manufacturing thousands or ten thousands of cars so how companies can keep a track of all those things which they are procuring from where they are procuring what what is the status of current item which order uh, you know has to be purchased which payment is pending who is the best vendor who can deliver me the items on time where should i purchase from there are so many things which company has to think about it before going into those manufacturing things correct so how they they can keep a track of all those so for, for keeping a track of all those things they use some software they use some software uh, for that can help them in the menu in the procurement processes so Ariba is one of them and they have SAP as well where they can use the complete SAP ERP for 
managing their procurement right so sap and sap ariba all together help the customer for procuring and managing their you know uh, keep a track of the procurement keep a track of the item keep a track of the payment keep a track of the invoices and many things and it helps them in actually running their business correct now how ariba can help them in all those things so ariba has various products so first of all as i said earlier ariba is a cloud-based application so you're not required to install anything on your server you just need to have an internet connection and a browser and your account in ariba so how they can create an account in ariba that is a different story but that's what you have you should have now ariba has got various products let us talk about ariba products now i hope the procurement domain is clear what is the procurement domain and how ariba i mean what ariba actually does so ariba helps the companies in procuring and maintaining and managing their uh, procurement throughout the uh, countries or throughout the or you can say globally now ariba products what are ariba products so there are three major ariba products one is ariba p2p and it is also called ariba procurement next is ariba network and next is ariba sourcing so these are the three main products of ariba on top of that like uh, there are some you can say sub component of each product they are there but these are the three major products of ariba so ariba p2p or ariba uh, procurement it has got guided buying and any um, few other things as well like ariba invoicing ariba invest management ariba contracts all those things but the main product is ariba p2p ariba network is a complete different product it is a you know a shared product between buyer and supplier when both buyer and supplier actually can collaborate they can easily track what is happening between them or you can say that all the transactions on ariba happens via ariba network so it is the backbone of ariba finally comes the ariba sourcing which is another product of ariba which is help in finding the new vendors a finding a new source so sourcing simply meant finding this source it helps them in, uh, in in sourcing that is finding a new source so customers get the help from Ariba sourcing in finding new source of supplies who can uh, supply them a better item a better quantity a better quality or whatever right now whatever uh, steps we have seen here in each step Ariba uses uh, summary or customer uses some Ariba product to find the thing so first thing is uh, like finding a vendor so as i said like there are many vendors now how they can find a vendor in uh, in the market so they have a they have a specification they have certain criteria based upon certain these Ariba cannot help them in defining these criteria because these criteria criteria are customer specific or personal right so Ariba cannot help them they can define these criteria Ariba can help them in finding a supplier who can fulfill these criteria, right? So they need to find a supplier uh, who can fulfill all those criteria. So for that, what will be used? Ariba sourcing. So here, customer will use Ariba sourcing to find a new supplier. And also, is a, there is a other product of Ariba that is uh, like called Ariba so Discovery which is again used for finding a new supplier uh, there there are certain differences between i, I think there are many dif differences between sourcing and discovery which we will talk in detail in our regular sessions but yeah ariba discovery and ariba sourcing are the products which are actually used to find new supplier to find new sources and to uh, negotiate with the suppliers to find the best price to find the best uh, whatever everything as per the best okay so this is where the Ariba is, uh, Ariba sourcing is used. After that, Ariba, they, I mean, they create a purchase order. They means the customer. Or here in, in example, uh, IBM, they, they will create a purchase order. Where they will create a purchase order? In Ariba, P2P, procure to pay. P2P simply means procure to pay. To pay, this is a full form of P2P, Ariba P2P, procure to pay. Right. So in Ariba P2P, they will create a purchase order now there are um, various other steps in between like uh, creating requisitions and approval flows that we will discuss in lead uh, in in regular session but right now let us assume uh, creating a purchase order in p2p which they create in p2p 
now the the purchase order will be sent to the supplier so supplier will send his purchase order and supplier will do the confirmation they will confirm like they can deliver all the items or they can deliver partial item or something like that so this is done in Ariva network so Ariva network is doing or is used for uh, you know creating the order confirmation from the supplier side and this order confirmation is then sent to the customer in Ariva P2P where actually they can see that their order has been confirmed or partially confirmed or rejected or whatever right then next step is like creating a strip notice so supplier will create a strip notice and supplier will create a strip notice again in Ariva network so uh, the ship notice will be created, created in Ariva network and this ship notice will be sent to Ariva P2P again and the customer can actually track okay my item has been shipped where it is now so they can track the history of the uh, or we can say they can track their shipment and then fi finally uh, once the shipment has been done they will customer will receive the items so they will do the receiving or we can call it the goods receiving which is again done in Ariva P2P so in Ariva P2P customer will do the Ariva uh, or the item receiving then the next step that comes like vendor vendor will create an invoice so they will create an invoice where in Ariva network they will create an invoice in Ariva network and it will be sent again to the P2P system or Ariva P2P system they where they can uh, you know customer can see okay this invoice has come and this much amount is due or this much amount they have to do and finally they will pay so they will uh, pay the supplier from Ariba P2P so in Ariba P2P the payment will be triggered so this is uh, a very basic understanding but there are many 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 manner things in between or that is a complete learning I would say that comes in between so but here this is the basic thing like procure or any activity from the customer side or from the buyer side is basically done in Ariba P2P and also in Ariba sourcing right so these are the activities that buyer performs like finding a new supplier then sending a purchase order then receiving the item and then making the payment so these are the things which are done in Ariba P2P any activity which supplier has to do like creating order confirmation creating a ship notice creating an invoice so all these activities which supplier has to do they are done in Ariba network okay now Ariba network is a, another product and it needs a you know long discussion which we will cover in our regular session like what is Ariba network how it works but here right now just understand that in Ariba network supplier will take the actions and they will you know take the actions from their side so this is how the complete procurement process happens over Ariba and customers use Ariba to manage all their uh, procurement activities and all their uh, 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 tasks that they need to do in uh, in order to procure any material right and these are the Ariba products which are basically used any questions so far from anyone okay so a silence means uh, no question all right so now what else is there in Ariva what are other powerful tools that Ariva can be used for is it just these five six steps that we can do in Ariva or there are many more yeah, there are actually many more which we cannot cover in our demo sessions like as I said like in between creating these steps there are many minor things or many things that we have to do approval flows task activities and uh, requisitions budget check many things happens that uh, part of the regular sessions but yet there are many more apart from that what else Ariva is capable of what Ariva is capable of connecting the entire world or we can say not entire but external world now what it means it simply means Ariva is very much configurable integrate uh, it is very much integrated supported system that means it can be you know integrated with many other things it can integrate it with SAP system as ERPs like SAP ECC or SAP 
or we can simply say S for HANA on prem and on cloud uh, both but yeah leave it for now but yeah it is capable of connecting SAP ERPs it is capable capable of integrating non SAP ERPs like PeopleSoft oh, I'm just writing few names but there are many and uh, IBM there are many more ERPs which are non SAP ERP or uh, many other companies provide their ERP for procurement. So Ariba is capable of connecting or integrating with their or non SAP ERPs as well. Apart from that, Ariba is capable of connecting trading partners or you can say logistic partners, which are actually the third partner for Ariba. Like a uh, logistic partner, like when the ship notice is being done. Uh, you can keep a track of each ship notice that is happening you can track suppose i'm in bangalore my atom has been shipped from new delhi now where is my atom it cannot come to me in one day obviously not right it will come by a truck or train or whatever so it will take some couple of days so i want to track the status of my order where is my order right now has it been started from delhi is it reached in bhopal now is it in andhra pradesh now it in karnataka now it is bangalore so all those track i can check if my system is integrated with logistic partners then apart from that many payment partners because i want to make the payments to the supplier so i want certain payment partner who can help me in making the payment because my suppliers could be global i am based out of india i am purchasing an item in india but i am purchasing an item from I say my supplier is uh, in Australia, so I'm purchasing it from Australia, but I am in India. So obviously the GST, the tax, and there are many other things which differ, or I cannot make the payment uh, with the normal Indian bank. I cannot do an EFT or RTGS. I cannot do a Google Pay, simple, right? There should be some standard uh, uh, payment method which should be supported between me and my supplier. So who can help me in all those things? So they have some, a payment partner which can be used for uh, you know helping them in the payment and tracking their payment and transactions apart from that Ariba um, is capable or Ariba provides actually so Ariba provides open APIs that means you can create your own application to in or connect your Ariba applications your own so if you have your technical team you have your developers and you do not want to you know work on any ERP work on any other system a third-party system no problem Ariva provides you the ERP open APIs you can create your own applications you can pull the data from Ariva you can push the data in Ariva for your uh, for your activities that whatever you are doing so it provides extensibility so it is this is something called extensibility it, it is capable of uh, extend I mean, it, you can extend it. You can extend it to your external system. You can extend it to your own application. You can build your own mobile application if you have Ariba API access and you know Ariba APIs. You can create your own Android application or iOS applications. Right. So it uh, it is very much uh, extensive, or you can you know uh, extend the Ariba applications to many other things. Okay. Apart from that, uh, I have already told it is very much. Uh, integration friendly so Ariva is very much integration friendly that means you can integrate it uh, with you know you name an application in the external world and you can integrate it and the integration with Ariva nowadays has become very easy unlike it used to be three four years back uh, when we did not have something called CIG that is cloud integration gateway People who have experienced, they might be, they might have heard about this. So, cloud integration gateway CIG is a new tool developed by Ariba, which is capable of integrating your Ariba applications with many other ERPs in a single day. And otherwise, the integration takes a long days. It used to take months and years as well. But nowadays, the integration can be done in a single day. You start in the morning, by the end, you're over. Your project is up and live. You can test it. And next couple of days you can go live also so Ariba supports or Ariba supports the CIG and sorry Ariba has CIG which supports various file formats various protocols various other things to 
uh, you know connect with the external world or external ERPs. May it be supplier ERP, may it be by by ERP. Supplier also have ERP. You might be knowing, like many suppliers have their own ERPs and by ERP. Obviously, they are very much common. So, so with the help of Ariba CIG, you can connect with all those external systems. Okay, so these are some additional features which just came into my mind right now, but there are many more features of Ariba which is you know capable, uh, which are very much uh, uh, you know customers can take a use of those to run their business. All right, now uh this is uh, the very basic or overview of uh, understanding of ariba what ariba does what ariba is capable of and what are ariba products now let me show you uh one a small demo uh, i'll just pause my screen for a second and i will increase here i will just show you a small demo like uh, what i was saying so let me log in and i will show you Okay. I hope you can see my screen. Again, okay. all right. So right now I have uh, I have logged into Ariba P2P, or uh, it is also called. Let me tell you one more things. There is one common word called Ariba Realm, and which you will here very often either you are learning in this session or in discussion with anyone or you read something on internet or you watch a youtube video or you work for a company wherever wherever you work or you talk about ariba you will hear a word called ariba realm so what is a realm realm in normal world it is something like uh, uh, i don't know how to explain in english so in in very much common language is called riyasat right like raj or a complete uh, state that is actually a realm so ariba realm what is a river realm basically so let's come back to the ariba world so what is a river realm ariba realm is a complete product that is given to a customer and they own it completely now so customers owns their own ariba realm so a ariba realm is given to them and they own it completely Completely, they can play with it. They can do anything in it. They can, you know, do some customization. They can do some extensibility. They can uh, do the testing. They can do their business, whatever. It is their own system, their own cloud system that Ariba gives them. And what it contains? It contains Ariba P2P, Ariba sourcing. In Ariba P2P, kind of like, like comes like Ariba Guided Buying, Ariba Guided Buying, and uh, contracts, right? And many other things in Ariba uh, invoicing and all also comes in this approval flow. All those things in Ariba sourcing uh, comes like uh, SLP and contract management, right? So all those things are parts of Ariba realm. They all, when a customer is given a realm, all these products of, of Ariba are given to them and they have a choice what they want to enable for their realm, what they want and what they do not want. And based upon their requirement, based upon what they want, they are charged or their subscription is decided by Ariba that, hey, you're looking for these many features, this is the subscription and you have to pay us this much amount and Ariba will charge them um, upon the products or the functionalities which they are opting for and which they are not opting they are not charged for that okay so this is the complete thing or this is complete realm that is given to the customer and they own it completely they are the owner of that realm anything going good or bad they are the responsible Ariva will help them in troubleshooting any 
technical issues or something if the system is not properly uh, properly working some issues comes into the product but any data kind of issue any other things uh, customers are responsible but if they need help they can open a ticket and arriva support helps them okay so this is the arriva realm or it is a com uh, you can say it is a complete system that customers customer own so right now i am in the arriva realm and this is how the arriva realm looks like now what i can see over here so I, you can see like guided buying is on the very top right if i uh, if i click on this i will be landing to the guided buying screen so this is the guided buying screen and i will be in the arriva guided buying apart from that i have seen arriva sourcing so if i click on this i will land to arriva sourcing now i am in arriva sourcing apart from that if i have more options if i go on contracts i can i am right now in arriva contract management or where i manage all my contracts where i create the contracts similarly if i click on procurement now i am in procurement now here now all my procurement activities happen where i can check my purchase order i can create new purchase order or new requisition and many more things and apart from that i also have option to upload catalogs many more things we'll talk about this in later but right now i'm just trying to show you like this is arriva rel where all their products are available for a customer and it just a click away they click on that tab and they are in that product for example right now in procurement tab i want to in sourcing i will i will just click on the sourcing and i will be in sourcing right then here we have a create button which will help me in creating the documents whichever i want for example i want to create a requisition okay i have an option to create a requisition i want to create a sourcing project if i am doing a sourcing project or i am trying to find a new supplier for my new commodity code or something or new material i can create a new project or if i want to create a new contract i can go on contract workspace and i can create a new contract so um, there are many things we will talk in detail so but yeah we have a con create button here similarly we have manage button here where we can manage the things like we can manage the uh, administration settings we can manage the approval flows we can manage the approval processes workbench and many more things are there uh, similarly we can manage my to do tasks my task user specific theme uh, things then i want to manage purchase orders i want to manage i want to receive some orders sm that is actually supplier management administration or a part of slp so this manage button gives me an option to manage uh the things uh, the way i want okay then the the recent button will just tell me what are my recent activities or what is our recent documents or activity i have performed i can quickly go on that one so this is a arriva realm now uh, or we can say it's arriva ptp and arriva sourcing all together in a single page and arriva guided buying when i click on guided buying button so this is arriva guided buying where i have landed to arriba guided buying so this is a different topic which we will uh, which we we'll talk uh, in later detail so right now this is arriba rel now for example i want to manage purchase order so if i click on manage and click on purchase order i'm just showing you what we have discussed in our uh, this process so we will see how a purchase order will look like and how does it you know uh, appear for in arriba network or for the supplier so i have a filter option here and uh, i'll just give a last week and click on search so here you see these all are the purchase orders which have been created so we can we have a purchase order id this that title is something like pavilion 23 notebook the status is order it is rejected it is received it is shipped so you can see all these chapters status actually reflect whatever we have been seeing over here like ordered means it has been ordered confirmed means rejected simply means it was rejected by the supplier they are not able to confirm the order if your ship notice has been created means it has been shipped if it has been received the status will be received right so all those status we can see ordered rejected received shipped ordered right so these are all the status so let us say uh, we want to check this order which is actually received so i click on this order and this is the page which appears which will give me a complete detail of what was ordered so it was ordered for one quantity one quantity of what one quantity of something material called clandestine 128 looks like uh, to be some pen drive probably 
or whatever it is okay so this is the item uh, which i have uh, the sub the user has requested for and this is part number what is supplier part number we will talk in detail this is the unit price and this is the total price that i have to pay since the unit the unit is only one so unit price and total price is same and status you see we have shipped yes i mean there is one ship notice and there is one re received i mean this has been shipped and received how i can check that if i go on the receipts i can see this receipt has been created and this was received and it the status is approved means i have received the thing that i have requested for is there any invoice created we can check under invoice no there is no invoice created so if you see the next step was invoicing after receiving but there is no invoice otherwise the status would be invoiced so there is no invoice is there any payment generated since there is no invoice there will be no payment obviously so once the invoice will be generated the payment will be done we can check the entire history what has happened on this on what date so you see on 11th of, of october uh, the budget was you know approved or it was checked and the budget was there then it was created and also it was sent to erp system and also it was sent to the supplier network you can see Ariba network right so order was sent via Ariba network to this is supplier name so to some supplier it was sent to the Ariba network then they received an order confirmation so an order confirmation number this was received then it means uh, it, the supplier created one order confirmation then they create the ship notice so a supplier also create, created a ship notice and then finally in the Ariba P2P system I received the item in this thing you see everything happen on a single day which is not possible but since these are the just the demo system so we do it quickly that's why we see everything on the same day but yeah this is the entire process that we were discussing here so we can check each and everything now this purchase order i am seeing in ariba rel or in ariba p2p how will it look like to the supplier for that i have to log into Ariba network because Ariba network check the orders or transactions on Ariba supplier check the orders and transactions on Ariba network. So the supplier was SkyMac or what? Okay, SkyMac. Let me log into the supplier. So this is Ariba network supplier account. So Ariba Network has got two things: Ariba Network supplier account and Ariba Network buyer account. So buyer account is something where buyer will log in. Supplier account is something where supplier will log in. So this is Ariba Network supplier account. Let us check this order in Ariba Network. So this is the order number. I will copy it. I'll just go for a quick search. There are many more things which we can talk in detail. But right now, let us do a quick search of the purchase order. So this is the purchase order and here we can see the order is there and uh, uh, supplier can see all those activities what he has done. So here you see this is the order and here the status is shipped and in the P2P the status is received. So maybe this uh, receive has not reached to supplier account. Uh, we will talk it later. But yeah, we can see this is the complete order and the same material, whatever we were seeing there, the same item is there same amount is there everything is same now what supplier can take actions he has the option to create order confirmation he has the option to create ship notice since this is already shipped so he cannot create another ship notice he has option to create an invoice right because uh, finally the item has been received so he can create on invoice so it's very pretty simple on Ariba network just click on the create invoice button fill that detail so most of the details or everything will come from the purchase order itself and that is why the customers prefer using Ariba network. So you see, everything has come over here, like the total amount and the item detail, price, quantity, ship to detail, um, where it has been shipped to, where it's being shipped from, and the tax details, right? And all the details have come in the invoice automatically. What the only thing that I have to do is actually uh, choose the uh, tax so for example if I want to choose the line level tax that I want to tax it for each line so here is line level tax and here I can 
you know put a gst or any tax or something like that i will say include to the included line and i say like one percent of gst i am uh, applying on this item so i have given the tax type and system has calculated everything and based upon that calculation my total amount will get added so here you see the total amount so it says total tax is 0 0.77 and total amount becomes 77.77 now all the details have been saved and as a supplier i have to just click on next and on the next page if there is no error it will show me a overview of what i am about to submit if i am happy or everything is correct i can just submit it so creating an invoice is that much simple just two clicks and the invoice has been submitted right and it if and it and it will go to your your systems your your customer systems like uh, either in p2p or in ariba uh, or in ariba p2p or maybe it is erp then it will be sent there so here we can see the uh, purchase uh, sorry the invoice has been sent and there we can check the status what has happened so we can see like the uh, invoice has been successfully received document has been transferred to next integration point the document is ready to be picked and coming from best than atlantic which is customers okay that means they have received the invoice so the invoice has been sent now supply customer will pay the invoice right so that is actually next step i think this invoice has not gone to p2p it has gone to erp uh, but uh, that's what my belief is uh, so if it has gone to the p2p then we could have seen the uh, invoice here but let me do a quick check oh, what was my u number was this yeah so this is still received the invoice has not come over here it has gone to erp so okay fine yeah oh good so you see the invoice has already come here and it is uh, it is in the we can selling status that means the supplier has sent the invoice and it has come to the p2p and it is stuck in the reconciling status because there is some there could be some problem or maybe it needs some approval or it needs some other activities to perform that is why it is stuck in reconciling status so uh, there are many ways to reconcile it i mean i'm just showing you right now but yeah there are many things which are there which which we will learn actually like there are two exceptions so we can see like there are two exceptions in this invoice so this is the first exception like tax calculation failed because we have given one percent of gst right and that's why it says like no gst tax or tax code tax code has not come properly so something has gone bad and that is why the invoice is stuck in the uh, erp or sorry in reconciliation status so any user in p2p who has the right authorization they will handle this exception how they handle it what are these exceptions mean that is something that we will learn in our uh, regular sessions okay so this is how the complete uh, procurement is managed apart from that you know uh, there are many other things in ariva p2p that supports uh, for example catalogs like uh, you know what is a catalog so catalog is something or uh, you can see it's a menu from the supplier what they deliver what they are capable capable of delivering and all those things we can see the things here so here you see in ariva guided buying we have like if i click on this tile it and hardware and under that if i click on computers so this is just like amazon or flipkart where the items actually appear to us and we see the items properly and if everything is good for us we select the quantity how many quantity we want let's say i want uh, 10 quantities i select the quantity i add to cart now just 10 quantities have been added in my cart in ariba guided by and i can check out and this item just uh, pavilion 23 notebook it was coming from the catalogs correct and i'm right now i'm guided by so here we can see all the details and i can finally submit it and once i submit it my requisition will be created the purchase order will not get created here a requisition will get created which actually it, it goes for the approval so it says a requisition has been sent for the approval right so it has been sent for the approval and who is a authorized person they will uh, check it and they will approve it right so it has gone to some user called gene hellas and they can approve it if i want i can withdraw it or i can edit the point to you something like that so 
yeah this is the ariba guided by and this item i just wanted to show you to show you like we, we, this is how the catalog looks like and the same catalog we can upload here in ariba p2p so we have a catalog manager let me go back okay i'm in the right page okay okay so if i go to core administration and then we have something called catalog manager where actually we manage all our catalogs in our system so we will talk about all those functionalities in detail so this is the entire ariba is and this is the entire uh, ariba process is as what ariba is used for and what the procurement domain is all about these are ariba products which we will be talking here and these are ariba capabilities which ariba is capable of doing any questions no questions okay so okay so that was a very brief introduction about ariba sorry the procurement domain and ariba products now uh, let me tell you what we will be covering in our regular session so that it will be helpful for you to decide uh, uh, I mean because I do not want you just go for any sessions it is up to you so let me tell you what we will talk in our regular sessions if we start so first thing is we will talk about we will talk about Ariva all Ariva products We will talk about all Ariba products. We will learn Ariba P2P. Everything, all the options, whatever is available there, right? We will learn Ariba sourcing, which is actually RFQ process. What is RFQ process and uh, uh, contract management? and uh, slp what is SL, has slp how do we do supplier invitation on slp we will learn a river network both buyer and supplier side all right and then we will uh, Yes, in a river sessions, these are only only things. I mean, uh, the next thing was clear in, in my demo session, I just write a river supplier network. So here I have written both, so we can ignore it. Uh, otherwise, we just write a river buyer network and a river supplier network, but I have written the same line. So these are the four products or the main products of Ariba that we will be covering in our each sessions, in our regular sessions. Uh, like uh, Karthik, you are looking for API extensions, CIG, integrations, guided buying. So let me tell you, we will not go into detail for those topics. I don't want to keep you in dark, but we will not go into detail of those topics because those topics are separate sessions. These sessions are just for basic understanding, basic learning of Ariba people uh, who want to learn Ariba systems, right? This is uh, for them. Since you're looking for like uh, API extensions, guided by configurations, maybe CIG integrations, that is something called implementation of Ariva and extensibility of Ariva, which is actually the advanced version. So uh, in these normal sessions, we do not cover, we talk about it, like what are the possibilities, but we do not go into detail. For example, I, just now I just now I showed you what it guided by. So we will talk about it. I will show you where to do basic configuration that we will show you. But if you're looking for, uh, you know, creating custom form, creating custom tile, doing a customization, all those details are in the technical or hard technical or in depth for these topics will not be covered in, uh, you know, in this regular Ariba session. So uh, I just wanted to make you clear about the things. Any questions? Yeah. That's all from my side. No questions? I am done with my demo. So if any questions you want to have, uh, please do ask and we can discuss about it.
Am I audible? Hello? I don't hear in I don't hear anyone. So I'm done with, done with my demo and we have discussed uh, what will be our agenda for these sessions and uh, yeah, rest details you can you know check with Subbu and uh, yeah we'll meet again today. I mean not today, I mean we'll meet soon if you're interested. So that's all from my side. Uh, I'll just give one more minute if somebody has any questions we can you can ask and then we can in the session. Okay, uh, then thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone, and have a good day.